different variants, such as to have a drop-down window, so people can select different sizes, different colors. I'm just going to do a quick search for my product. So once you get into your product, you're going to look at the bottom of the page and you're going to see a tab which says add new uh, child product. And that's what we're going to be doing. But first, let's go to the custom fields and add our new plugin custom fields. Our new plugin for product attributes. So first thing we do, the type is the plugin. The we're going to put a title. And you can see that we used pretty much all the default uh, attributes, except for the uh, card attribute, we'll change to yes. You can put a description in if you want to, and to kind of like categorize and describe uh, what each plugin does. And here we're going to choose custom field with stock var uh, variants. And as you can see, there's a lot of options that we can have. Okay, but remember, every one of, th every one of these ones that uh, we add, uh, um, they're all simultaneously added to the uh, cart variant. So now we're going to put in our uh, what attribute we want, sizes, colors, whatever you want. And also you can put a descriptor that says please choose. And just to go quickly, uh, you'll see that uh, sizes are all on uh, each size, each color is on a different line. And once you have these uh, um, attributes in, just click save. Now, you s now you've saved it, and now you're going to go back to your uh, product, okay? And we're going to add a child product to start. So once we add the child product, you see that it appears here at the bottom, and then we'll just put in a different descriptor. Now we're going to start doing our sizes. So this one's going to be small. You can put a different cost price that, that will add to the total price as it's added to the cart and click save. And once you've saved, it, saved uh, your product, go to your custom fields. And here you can see your, your uh, drop down. Okay, and once you add it, you'll see the default fields will, will pop up automatically. And here you can choose to, let's say you only have small black gloves in stock. You can put that in and then you can put the, uh, the SQ price. So this way, people are only selecting the exact products that you have in stock. But remember, each one of these need a stock uh, uh, number as well. So let's say you want to add a new product after that. You can just do them all right here, and you'll just go down. Like let's say uh, you know sm small is uh, small is uh, two eight zero. We'll call this two eight two, and then we'll call it medium, and then we'll go on so on and so forth. Mem remember, you can add your additional charges, and also don't forget to put the product, how many products in stock that you have. Click new and you'll see your product has been added. And you can go right down the line and, and add all the different variables that you want to appear in on your uh, your uh, splash page, on your product page. Okay? And then once you have all your products uh, the way you want to, you're going to click save. You'll see that it, it, it appears. Make sure that your parent variant uh, boxes are checked. If not, check them and save. And then go back to your product refresh and then you'll see your drop downs appear and you see as I select uh, medium my white gloves appear because that's all I have in stock okay so you can have a mix match and also you can see that the product has a different number than the the parent which is uh, nine six two eight zero and this one is two eight two